And I believe we are now live here on our YouTube channel. This is the voice of Coach Tim Justice. If you're Team Tackle, you probably recognize that. This is a Tackle Trading 101 series presents the Boomerang Trade, how to trade fundamentally strong stocks for cash flow. Now, a couple of things we're going to do first is I'm going to bring up a few legal disclaimers. Anytime we present any material uh, on YouTube or elsewhere, uh, quite frankly, anything that we do live or over the internet or stream through a webinar, these you know, website, the materials, the education, they're for educational purposes only. I want you to take a moment to read through this legal disclaimer that basically says all of those types of things. Uh, we are not financial advisors. We're not here to give you legal accounting or financial advice or solicitation. We're here to provide education and context around the, the financial markets. At Tackle Trading, we actually do a lot of education around trading and uh, the educational ecosystem that we've built here at Tackle Trading, in my personal opinion, is very dynamic dynamic, very robust, and gives you a lot of opportunities to learn all of those different tactics and strategies in the markets. We have everything from podcasts to weekly reports to shows, courses, blogs, tools for traders, and our social media channels. Uh, at the end of the show, I'm going to actually provide some context as to the different levels of our educational you know, structure and procedures that we've built whether you're at the free level, whether you're participating like in our podcast or YouTube channels or whatever it is, or you're all the way into our premium levels where you're in one of our system courses, our mastermind groups, our one-on-one -on -one coaching, you name it. Here at Tackle Trading, we have a mission, and that is to provide financial education to all of those who want it, who want to learn how to trade, how to invest properly, how to approach the financial markets, and really break down those barriers that Wall Street and institutions have built to make this stuff seem intimidating when it is really truly not that intimidating once you learn it once you truly understand it so come and participate in any of the different products we have at tackle trading couple that i want to highlight right now one is the podcast if you're on youtube and you love podcast as well the Trading Justice Podcast. We've done over 450 episodes over the course of about seven years now. I love putting the podcast out. Just last week, we did our 2022 Predictions Podcast with many of the coaches at Tackle Trading. It's worth a listen. It's a couple hours long. I think you're going to have a few laughs in there as well. Make sure that you grab that content. If you're a pro member, one of the things I want you to absolutely uh, grab and be a part of and start using are our journals. Uh, I know that you guys are taking our courses and going through our shows and you know you're engaging in many different ways but our journals are one of the most underutilized tools even by paying pro members at tackle trading in my personal opinion so grab those journals and one other call to action here right now is go get on our discord channel we actually have exclusive conversations happening with our pro member community on discord on a daily basis within the labs within different contexts so go and get onto discord become a part of that and and participate in any way we have here at tackle trading that can provide you some value uh, also if you're interested in education at Tackle Trading, if you want to learn how to trade in the financial markets and you want to get your questions answered from a coach like myself, schedule a consultation by going to tackletrading.com slash schedule dash consultation. It's free. Set up a 30-minute Zoom call with one of our coaches and have a conversation about your plans for 2022, about your plans for your trading education, about your plans or your, your desires or your goals and see if we can find a solution to help you reach those goals as well. I know that we can. So set up a consultation. They are definitely no pressure. They're just there to help you. I actually hold a lot of the consultations myself, along with Coach Emily over at Tackle Trading from the Dynasty Investors Trade. Lab. And uh, this is who is your presenter tonight. This is myself. Uh, my name is Tim Justice. I am the Chief Operating Officer of Tackle Trading. I am a founder of the company. I have been trading in the markets since 2005. And by my nature, since I was a little kid, I've always been an entrepreneur. You know, I've always had just a desire and an instinct to go out and to, to, to do different types of things, start businesses or help solve problems and really go about it my own way. Uh, quite frankly, it's always been my instincts and it's right in my DNA. I'm also a trader and investor. 
And uh, I love the, the stock markets, you know, coach Gino in the halftime report, he talked about the Tina, you know, philosophy. And if you ever want to look up an acronym called Tina, I think you'll learn something. It's called <clears throat> Tina for a reason. Basically, basically it says there is no other alternative. <laughs> and uh, in the markets and the way that I think about money, especially with the amount of money that is flushed in the system you have to become an investor. You have to become a trader. There is no other alternative. What are you going to do? Park your money in cash and watch the Federal Reserve, you know, inflate it to death? <laughs> it sounds like a bad plan, guys. You know, inflation is two, three percent a year if you believe the data that comes out of the Fed. And last year actually it was more like five, six percent as we spiked in inflation. You only make like one percent if you have a high return money market account with your savings account. You got to learn how to invest. The stock market does eight to 10% a year on average over the last 30 or 40 years. Over the course of 100 years, the returns are about 8% a year as well. Yeah, learn how to invest. There is no other alternative. And as a kid who came from small town Utah over these mountains that I'm staring out my window right now, you know, it's a snowy January. We just turned the page on a new year. And I've got this beautiful scene right out my office window here in my home office with snow on the ground and mountains out in the distance. I grew up in a very small town with no background in financial markets, no understanding of what stock trading or investing was all about. If I learned how to do it, you can learn how to do it as well. I can promise you that uh, fancy suit and that picture that was taken by a photographer, that's not where I was raised. That's not where I'm from. I'm from coal country in Utah, and I learned how to trade the markets, and I know that you can as well. And it's something that we love doing and sharing here at Tackle Trading. Uh, I'm the founder and host of our podcast as well. One of my favorite and most wonderful experiences I've ever had in my life is being a trading coach, uh, working with people one-on-one. -on -one working with people one on many working in webinar formats where i can just share messages and teach you know what i know about the markets to be true and uh, i just absolutely love those opportunities so thank you for joining me tonight and thank you for coming to learn more about the boomerang strategy as a coach as a mentor as a founder of these companies as a father and a husband i know the financial markets can give you a lot of joy a lot of success, and they can put you on a path that you want to be on. They can help you build your legacy. They can help you build more income. They can help you secure your wealth. They can help you do a lot of different things, but you have to start with tactic and you have to start with education as well. In tonight's presentation, here is what I've designed, and this is what you will learn. You're going to learn the boomerang trade philosophy. You're going to learn about the naked put strategy. You will learn option contract basics. You will also learn the covered call strategy. You will learn the boomerang trade mind map. And then we're going to do some naked put and covered call examples towards the end of the show. Now, the presentation tonight is the boomerang trade, the boomerang 101. And really, the boomerang trade is about two different strategies and the very first step, and I want you to write this in the chat, step one is you sell a naked put. That's the first step to the boomerang trade. So step one, you sell a naked put. And by the way, if you're out there and I'm just checking the Zoom or the, uh, I should say YouTube chat here, and I'm not going to be watching it all night. So if I miss a question, I do apologize in advance. I'll be catching those a little bit later in the show. And at the end, I will have a few minutes reserved for Q&A and conversation. And I'll definitely want to engage with you. I already saw Skull Team Tackle, Got to Beat Inflation, Hello All Team Tackle. Guys, <laughs> Let's just do a really big hashtag team tackle and happy new year in the chat. As you guys are coming in, I guarantee most of you out there are already a part of our community. I love positive energy. It's going to help build this thing into an amazing 90 minute show. And that's kind of what I'm planning anywhere from one hour to an hour and a half, depending on how long I go. So hashtag team tackle and a big happy new year as we get started here tonight. Okay. All right, back to the presentation. So the number one step you do <clears throat> in the boomerang is you sell it a naked put. Excuse me, one minute. Choking on some trail mix there. So step one, you sell a naked put. Step number two is you do a covered call. And really the true beauty of the boomerang is that if you learn how to do both of those two, two steps really well, you just keep doing it over and over 
and over and over again. All boomerang is, is a kind of a clever, affectionate way to describe two option tactics that we love in the market as a way to approach wonderful stocks so that you can cash flow them using the options market. Now, if you trade options, you already know the power of the options market. If you do not trade options, I got to teach you a little bit about the options market before we get into boomerang tactics. And so I do want to spend a few minutes talking about option basics and some important things that come to my mind when I'm teaching the options market. First thing is just the, the nature of what an option is. Okay. An option is a contract between a buyer and seller that gives the purchaser of the option the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell a specific stock at a specific price on or before a specific date. See, that is what the contract was designed as in the early 70s when the Black-Scholes model was created, when the options market was created, when derivatives were created, and options have been popular for nearly 50 years. Over the course of time, options have become more commonplace, okay? And there's a lot of different traders out there that use options in really clever and creative ways, uh, like we do as well. You know, we do we use a lot of different option strategies. If you go to our playbook over at Tackle Trading, you'll notice a Delta playbook, a Theta playbook, a Vega playbook. There's dozens, if not hundreds, if not countless ways you can use options, but the essence of an option comes down to this definition. There's a contract between a buyer and a seller. You have to either be the buyer or the seller. If you're the buyer, that gives you the rights. So in the chat, type in buyer equals rights. That's important to understand because if you're the buyer of the option contract, you control the rights. You hold the cards. You're the one behind the wheel. You get to determine if you want to take those shares of stock. You get to determine if you want to put those shares of stock to somebody else. It depends on whether you own a call option or a put option. We'll get into those uh, specifics here in just a minute. See, but if you're the buyer, you don't have an obligation to buy that stock. You don't have to do it. It's your choice. Okay. And that's an important part of it. The next part of it is a specific price. In the options market, write in the chat, specific price equals strike price. If you're a student of the options market, you've probably already heard some of these terminology in the past. And, you know, we throw these words around and we don't ever really explain them all that well, in my personal opinion. We're going to go through, we're going to explain them tonight. We're going to keep it basic. And then we're going to get into examples a little bit later in the show where I show you some of those specific strike prices on a few different stocks that I found for tonight's program. Now, that specific price is your strike price. And then on or before a specific date, see, that's what we call expiration date. And I want you to write in specific date equals expiration date, okay? Now, if you can understand this paragraph, this description of what an option is, you understand the key components of the option. Buyer or seller, rights and obligations, strike prices, and expiration dates. And there are two different kinds of options what we call a call option and a put option. A call option is literally what it sounds like. You have the right to call stock to you if you ever choose to. So a buyer of a call option is somebody who wants the rights to the underlying company. For example, if you think Apple Computer is going to break out and run to $200 a share in the first quarter after the earnings report, you're aggressively bullish, you want to speculate on the market, you can buy a call option with the anticipation of playing that directional move. If you buy a call option, you own the rights to that underlying product, which is generally a stock. Now, one thing that's important, and I think I want you to, and, and I love it when you guys help me out by typing in the chat. If whenever I'm giving a presentation and you hear me ask, okay, write this down or, or say this back to me or write it in the chat, all that is, is quite frankly, is me as an educator, making sure we reinforce a key concept or that we help somebody who's new, who might not be taking notes as quick as you are, that helps the entire team make sure we learn it. Okay. Write this in the chat, write down one contract equals 100 shares. 
Okay. One contract equals 100 shares. Whenever we're talking about an option contract, we generally, we, we refer to them as like one contract. And you can trade obviously more than that. You can trade two or five or 10 or a hundred of them, whatever's available in the market. We tend to only trade companies that have lots of options available, uh, companies that trade like a million shares per day or more, which means there's a lot of options available to them. And for every one call option you buy or sell, that contract right or obligation actually represents 100 shares of stock in quantity. And I think that's important for any beginner to understand. A put option is when you put the phone down. You can put it away. You can put it to somebody. A buyer of the put option owns the right to sell 100 shares to the market. Okay. So when you own a call, you own the right to buy 100 shares. And when you own a put, you own the right to sell 100 shares. And that's important to understand. If you sell a put, you take on the obligation to sell 100 shares. So when you own a call, you own the right to buy the stock at a set price at or before a set date. When you own a put, you own the right to sell a stock at a set price at or before a set date. And by the way, most people in the public and most people out there in the marketplace, what, what Wall Street unaffectionately calls the retail trading crowd. Have you guys ever noticed that, that Wall Street and CNBC, they always call us retail traders? Yeah, they're not saying that because they like us, <laughs> by the way. They're saying that because they think we're just a bunch of consumers that are buying stuff. And in general, that may be true. We need to stop just being consumers. We need to learn to sell things as well. We need to learn to take the other side of the market. One of the most common mistakes in the options market, in my personal experience, in my personal opinion, is that new traders, uneducated traders, or just too aggressive leveraged traders who want to gamble, they buy options. They buy them for the wrong reasons. They want to take a buck and make a thousand bucks. And I understand the instinct. We, there's nothing wrong with greed. You know, we learned that a long time ago. Greed's fine, but you got to have some context to it. And you can't just do that blindly without an understanding as to what else is out there. And that's where selling options come in. This is quite possibly my favorite slide in any presentation I ever have given. And I love this slide. So I want you guys to perk up, lean in, pay attention as if you weren't already. I know that you were, but definitely pay attention. And the reason I love this slide is it's arrows and colors and the simplicity. If I truly teach it, I think you're going to understand something about the options market. See, there's only four different potential basic transactions. You can buy a call. Now, what are the different things any stock can do when you make a trade? Well, the stock can go up, it can go sideways, or it can go down. And if it goes up in a buy call, you actually make money. You'll notice the green arrow pointing up. So when you buy a call, there's only one way to profit. I want you to put that in the chat. If I buy a call, there's only one way to profit. If I buy a call, there's only one way to profit. See, if you buy a call, that stock better go up in price or else you're going to lose money, which means you're a speculator, which means you're dependent on direction, which means you're dependent on picking good charts and making great entry points. Now, you can do those things. We teach people how to do those things all the time. But your probability is not always in the high level when you buy a call because there's two outcomes where you can lose money. See, if the stock goes nowhere, you're going to lose from what we call time decay. And if the stock goes down, you're going to lose from, well, it went the wrong direct. It went the wrong direction. So buying a call is one way to profit. Buying a put gives you one way to profit. If you buy a put, the stock must go down for you to be able to sell the put back to the market and lock in a profit. See, one out of three. I don't love those odds. Now, if I'm a great directional trader that can make wonderful entry points and I know how to time the market, I've gone through the step system, I can build an edge. I can build an advantage and you can do great doing it that way. But your degree of difficulty by any stretch of the imagination is higher, period, end of sentence. That's the way it is. That's the probability behind the math in the trade. Because whenever that sideways element is red, 
now time passing is hurting you. I don't love that. I don't love anchoring your business around that. And I don't love anchoring your retirement account around that. Trading account, you bet. And if you watched my portfolio design webinar from just a couple of weeks ago, I talked about the role of speculation and the role of those you know, kind of other strategies in the market that can fit into any portfolio. I do believe there's a role there, but it shouldn't be the primary role. The other outcomes and the other transactions, you can sell a call. Now, you'll notice what happens when we sell a call. We obviously flip the different arrows, okay? Instead of the green arrow pointing up, now we got the green arrow pointing sideways and down because call sellers tend to do it not as a naked call. They tend to do it as a covered call. And what you want to have happen is have that stock go nowhere. But if the stock goes down, you will profit on the call. And that's the important part of the transaction. Short call sellers now have an advantage over long call buyers. Okay. The fourth transaction is what we call selling a put. Again, the two bottom transactions are the sell side of the options market. If you want to build an edge in your system, and if you want to build an edge in probability, one of the simplest things that you can ever take away from this entire presentation is learn to sell options. Write that in the chat. I will learn to sell options. I will learn to sell options because that is a key element of learning to actually trade the market. You know, do what Wall Street does, do what the professionals do, do what the hedge funds do. They sell options, guys. They don't buy them. Most professional traders focus primarily on the sell side of the options market. And I can tell you, even my coaches over at Tackle Trading, all of them buy options. They just don't do it all the time. You know, Coach Mark, Coach Greg, Coach Gino, Coach Emily, all of them, I'm just rattling off names now. I know Coach Tyler, you name it. They all predominantly focus on sell side strategies because that's where your edge in probability is. And yes, we like green arrows. Green arrows are good. You know, that kind of gives us a point into what direction we should be heading towards. And that's why I love the boomerang trade. The boomerang trade, it consists in selling naked puts and selling calls as a part of the covered call strategy in a never ending cycle of cash flow. This is how the personal gold system creates the velocity of money before compounding. And then we usually take some of that profit out and put it into assets like precious metals or equity or land or property or whatever it might be. I love boomerangs, okay? It's called a boomerang for two basic reasons. When you sell the naked put, you're entering into a paper asset position. The first transaction in a boomerang is to sell a naked put. When you're putting it out there in the market, like throwing out your obligation, saying, listen, if it comes back to me, I'll take it. Second one is that if you do acquire the asset, because what a naked put sell is, is when you take on the obligation to buy 100 shares of stock on a company that you're willing to own. That's essentially what a naked put is. And so if you can think of a stock that you'd love to own, sell a naked put on it. Worst thing that can happen, they'll make you buy something you wanted to buy anyway. It's a win-win. And you get paid up front when you make the naked put sell. So you have an edge in probability. You have two ways to win out of three. You're taking on ob an obligation. The market gives you a credit. And the worst case scenario, you got to buy 100 shares of that stock per contract on a company that you're willing to acquire in the first place. And if you do acquire the company, veteran traders out there, what can we do? We then start writing covered calls against our 100 shares to then also collect cash flow. It's a beautiful thing. And if they eventually take the stock from you, guess what? You end up in a net zero position. You just do it again. And you do it again and you do it again and you do it again. Now, the next slide, in my opinion, is another one of my favorites. Now, my other one was my favorite. You know, the, the green arrows and the red arrows, I love the simplicity and the power of that slide. But who doesn't love a mind map? 
You know, my analyticals out there just leaned in. You're like, okay, Tim, show me the picture. Show me the mind map, right? We all love mind maps. Those of us who've been stuck in Zoom product development meetings for two years might've just leaned back. So I apologize to those of you who work out there in corporate America where mind maps are always thrown at you, but I promise this one's simple, powerful, is going to shape the way you think about this, Okay. All the boomerang trade is, and this is just a visual description of what I've already been talking about, is where you sell a put. Now, what are the two outcomes that can happen when you sell a put option? First thing is it could expire worthless. See, if I have, you know, XYZ company, it's at $50 a share right now, and I sell the 40 strike put option, the only way the market is going to make me buy that stock for $40 a share with 100 shares is if the stock goes down below 40. Anything above 40, I just get to capture and keep the credit that they gave me to begin with. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. Step number two, well, guess what? If step one happens, you just go back to selling puts. The best case scenario is you sell a put, it expires worthless. I want you to write that in the chat. Best case scenario is my sold put expires worthless. Best case scenario is my sold put expires worthless. Because if your sold put expires worthless, there are no more steps. That's the whole mind map right there. Okay, webinar over, right? No, I'm just joking. But that is the entire trade if that's the way that transaction works itself out. Step number two, well, they might assign you the stock. See, if you sell a put option, you take on the obligation to buy 100 shares of stock at a set price at or before a set date. That's the definition of what a sold put is. So if they make you buy that stock because you took on the obligation, now you're the proud owner of a 100 shares of stock. And Team Tackle, what can we do when we own 100 shares of stock? What can we do when we own 100 shares of stock? We can sell a call option. See, that's the beauty of owning stock is that you now own the asset and you can give up the rights to that asset by selling call options. A call option, when you sell it, you have two ways to make money, right? It can go nowhere or it can go down. There's two ways to make money on both sell side transactions. Refer back to the green arrows. Green arrows equal good. In fact, write that in the chat. Green arrows equal good. We always like green arrows. If we sell a call option, we now have two ways to make money. And the worst case scenario, eh, it doesn't do anything. You sell again. Then you sell it again. You keep collecting your credits as you're lowering your cost basis. Even if the stock is dropping, now refer to your covered call mechanics. And here are the two outcomes. Number one, the stock could get exercised. Let's go through the hypothetical scenario I just talked about. Got a $50 stock. I sell the 40 strike put. Okay. It goes all the way down to $39 and I got to buy that stock for hundred shares for 40 bucks a share. Now I own the stock for $40 a share at a hundred for hundred shares. I get to keep the money I sold the put for. So I already have a little bit of profit in my, in my pocket right now, right? In my account. Now I'm the proud owner of 100 shares of stock and I sell the call option. Now I just picked up my second credit. I'm getting paid. Then I'm getting paid again. And I'm continuing to own that thing. Let's say that stock goes right back up and the market takes my stock from me. That's called exercise. Okay. When the market takes my stock from me, then just refer back to step number one. That's the boomerang element of it, okay? The yellow boxes are your actions and whatever that color is, it's kind of a bluish teal to me. Uh, I got to refer back to the crayon box sometimes, guys. I got to be honest with you. I got to tell you, I got three daughters and they make fun of me all the time for not knowing all the colors. But that one, the other bluish box, when it gets exercised, those are the actions the market will take. Okay. So you took the yellow boxes as your actions. You sold a put. Num you know, uh, scenario number one is expires worthless. You go right back to selling more puts. Scenario two is the stock was assigned. You go back to selling calls. If it gets exercised, go back to selling puts. If it doesn't get exercises, then the call expires worthless. Then you go back to selling calls. 
That's the mind map behind the boomerang technique. And one of the most powerful things, and I will bring this mind back uh, back mind map back up say that five times fast i will bring this back up at the end of the presentation to make sure that we've wrapped it all together and put it back together but that's essentially what i'm teaching you through the boomerang technique and so what i want to do now for a few minutes is actually kind of dig into those two transactions which are the center of the boomerang the naked put the naked put is step one the naked put is a core options strategy where the trader sells an out of the money put option to either take a position of the stock at a predefined price or they simply want to cash flow with a high probability of profit. Now, there's a couple of acronyms in there that are important to understand. One of them is OTM, also in the options market referred to as out of the money. What we do in tackle trading rule design and in our playbook design and the way that we train our traders in team tackle is we usually sell low delta options to ensure that they're doing it in the right location out of the money. Okay. Anything below a 50 delta should be out of the money. Period. End of sentence. It should be out of the money. We like to sell naked puts in the very low deltas, anything like 20 or below. But when you're doing boomerang, really what you do is you sell the naked put where you're willing to buy the stock. In fact, write that in the chat, sell the naked put where I'm willing to buy the stock. Sell the naked put where I'm willing to buy the stock. That's the nature of it. Because remember, the core of this entire philosophy and this entire tactic, which I believe is an entire trading system you can use for your, your entire career. And I, yes, I use the word entire about six times in a row. Guys, naked puts are the cornerstone of that. Sell naked puts where you're willing to own a stock that you've identified as a powerfully good company. By the way, Team Tackle out there, all you got to do is maybe choose like a stock off the Tackle 25 or the Dividend Fireworks list. We just released these four powerhouse fundamental and cash flow lists researched by our coaches. We just put them up on the website just two days ago for all of 2022. Those are great candidates for boomerangs. In fact, make a note of that team Tackle. Tackle 25 list equals boomerangs candidates, Okay. Tackle 25 list equals boomerang candidates. So we sell a naked put where we're willing to buy the stock. Hopefully it just expires worthless and we make money. Number one outcome could be that we have to take possession though. We got a plan for that. You can't sell a naked put on Tesla at a thousand bucks if you can't afford to buy a hundred shares of Tesla. Affordability is important here. This is not a trading strategy. I do not want you to try to trick your brain into thinking you can afford the leverage. No, don't do that. Just be conservative, guys. You know, what? I, one thing I have learned in my life as a trader is there's enough money when you're conservative and when you're a wimp. You don't have to pour gas on every fire, okay? Just be conservative. Trade companies you can afford. Trade companies you can afford. It's not that hard. Focus on that and build your account over time through profit, okay? Because you might have to take a position of that stock of 100 shares. That's important to understand and to identify. Or number two is you might just have the put expire worthless and then boom, you're moving on to the next strategy. Reviewing. If you're a put option buyer, you own the right to sell the stock at a predetermined price on or before a predetermined date somebody had to buy it from you. Doesn't matter who it is. It's not any face person out there. It's a faceless person out there. See, one of the beauties of the options market is whenever you make a transaction, you actually do it with the pool of traders that is the entire market. The options clearing corporation then processes that transaction. And there's a whole bunch of magic that goes on behind the scenes that's really, really boring, but you're not actually trading with an individual. You're just trading with the market. That buyer of your put option, you're the one who sold it to you, to them. So somebody bought it from you, you sold it to them. They put money in your account today, but you don't get to keep that money until the contract expires completely.
Now, there's all kinds of management that can happen in between, and there's all kinds of different things that you can do as you're in a trade to either take the profit or roll the contract. That's not tonight's webinar. Tonight, we're keeping a high level focus on the most important philosophies behind it. But these are the two transactions of that naked put transaction. You're the person on the right in the boomerang strategy. You sold it. Okay. When you sell puts for premium, you get paid to make a promise to buy that asset you wish to own. When you sell that put option, you then receive the premium in your account. And we like premium. Everybody likes premium. Say, in fact, write in the chat, I love premium. Okay. I love premium. And Daksha, Daksha, my friend, I am not going to just glance past that comment in the chat because I love that comment. Daksha, who is a longtime member of Team Tackle, one of our coaching students, been in our community since I met Daksha and Bharat back in 2016, says, I loved the look and feel and contents in the Tackle 25 2022 ebook. Everybody in the chat, do me a very, very big favor. There's a man behind, you, you ever work in a company or you ever work in, in a production where there's always a man or a woman behind the scenes that's doing a lot of the, the actual heavy lifting? Everybody just say, great job, Christian. Just say that. Christian Sisson, he designed the System Development 101. Daksha, that's who we need to thank. He does all of the visuals for us at Tackle Trading, and he does an amazing job. I agree with you. I love the look and feel of that ebook as well. So make sure you go and grab that. And let's give Christian a big uh, hand and round of applause on that one because he does an amazing job and rarely, rarely gets public mention for it. All right. Let's talk about that naked put again. If you sell a naked put, one of the keys you need to understand is the assignment. Your obligation to buy those shares at, the, at that predetermined price can happen. Now, if you're in a margin account, you might be able to leverage into that position a little bit the same way that it would cost you if you just went out and bought 100 shares. But for mathematics purposes, what I want you guys to think about whenever you sell a naked put. Take your strike price, multiply it by 100, like 40 bucks times 100 is $4,000. Do you have $4,000 to buy stock? Okay, maybe that's not your trade then, right? You know, and generally in a margin account, it's two to one. So you'd need 2,000 against a $40 strike price. But you got to identify how much it's going to cost you. Here's another example. If you sell a $25 put option on a stock that is trading at 30, you're telling the stock that you are willing to buy that stock at $25 at 100 shares per contract. So if you sell one, you got to have 100 shares at 25 bucks a share. If you sell 10, that's 1,000 shares at 25 bucks a share. You got to do the math to make sure that you can afford that. Okay. If the market trades to 25 or under, then you might have to take that position. Now, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to go live. And if you can hear my voice right now, I got me a nice uh, cup of coffee in front of me to try to, to, to fight back some of the uh, losing the voice here in a minute. And anybody out there is going to say, Tim, don't drink coffee, drink water. I get it, but I like coffee. It's nice and warm in this mug that I have. So give me one second. All right, let's go live. Let's go get an example. Now, by the way, I'm loving the energy here tonight. Team Tackle, you guys always represent. Give me a thumbs up on that YouTube channel if you've not done it yet. And if you're watching these programs for the very first time, we do this kind of stuff all the time. You'll love tackle trading. If you're a trader, if you're a student of the markets, I can confidently make this very simple. You'll love tackle trading. Make sure you subscribe and like, come back and join us whenever we go live. Now, I found a couple of different examples that I wanted to use tonight and for both our naked put and our cover call examples. Now, I found what I would consider to be a moderate stock in terms of risk, reward, probability, movement, and volatility. It's not a high flyer, doesn't go, you know, it's not 100% implied volatility, but it's a mover. And that's Devon Energy. Devon, it is decaf tonight, Walt. I can't be drinking caffeinated uh, coffee this late. And green tea sounds delicious, but I just got that beautiful decaf uh, right in front of me. So, Devon Energy is the stock I want to talk about. Now, if you're a technician, your eyes immediately went to the breakout. 
Beautiful breakout today. No question about it. We came from a lower pivot. The stock looked like it wanted to break down. The market played defense. Buyers came in, destroyed the competition. Look at these green candles. Green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle. It's kind of like the Chicago Bears the last two weeks in meaningless games. They've been destroying the competition, but I'm still a very proud Chicago Bear fan. Here we are breaking out. Devon Energy, resistance, 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 green candle breakout, right? If we pull that back and we look at a big picture, you can see a beautiful uptrend. But that's not why I chose Devon. I chose Devon because it's a Tackle 25 stock. And here's an example of one of the companies that hit our list and made our list this year. And it's kind of a teaser to that. So if you're not a pro member, here's an example of how we pick stocks. Devon also has a wonderful option chain. And I've got my paper money here at Thinkorswim up, and I'm actually going to go over into paper money. And I use the Thinkorswim platform. If you're out there and you're watching this program, you're like, what software is that? It's the Thinkorswim software through TD Ameritrade. I've just traded there for a long time. I use that software and I'm given presentations. We actually have a partnership with Tasty Trade. We love other brokers. We don't have just one broker. That's not it. We, that just happens to be what I'm using right now. Okay. If I go to the analyze tab and I go into the option chain, that's right. <laughs> Matthew. Sorry, I can't. I got to put the chat away for a minute here. You guys are making me laugh and distracting me. Matthew says, You know, you're old if you have a rule of no coffee after 11 a.m. I must be getting old, Matt. <laughs> it's true. Uh, anyway, so Devon Energy here, this is an option chain. You'll notice these numbers in parentheses are your expiration date. So the, whatever the number is, that's how many days until that option chain will expire. When we sell naked puts, we like to be somewhere between 28 and 42 days in the sweet spot. Now, I love monthlies, you know, so if I could choose January, I would. And I know some of our veteran traders and coaches, 18 days is fine too. That's not what we're going to do tonight. We're going to play it by the rules. We're going to go to the 32-day option. We're going to open up that option chain, and we're going to come down here. We're going to find the right put option. Now, for purposes of demonstration tonight, I've actually pulled up a very powerful tool. And in the chat, Team Tackle, pro members, anybody, just write in Tackle Theta Spreadsheet. Tackle Theta Spreadsheet. Okay. This spreadsheet is something if you're a pro member at Tackle Trady, you can download. By the way, if you're looking for a trial, we give you a 15-day trial. You can literally just go sign up for the free trial, get the, the spreadsheet, go get this spreadsheet, and it will teach you how to methodically research different option cash flow systems. At the bottom of the spreadsheet, you'll notice some different tabs, covered call, short put, bull put. Bear call, iron condor, short strangle, time spreads, and some resource links. Below every one of the research tables, though, you'll also notice a set of rules. It tells you what our technical bias we're looking for is, what type of strategy it is, what delta we're looking for between five and 25, okay? How much time we want to sell in the options and all kinds of different metrics. That's for another webinar. There's also video tutorials on this YouTube channel on how to use this spreadsheet. Now, while I'm looking up the data, I'm going to pull this over to my other monitor. I'm a minimum two monitor, guys, when you're, uh, when you're trading, uh, guys. I think it's important uh, at least to have two. Many traders will have a lot more than that, but uh, at least two. So I look up Devin and I look up the price. It's $45 action and 57 cents a share. That's right here where it says last. I am going to look up the ATR rate, which is in the chart, $1.91 ATR. I'm going to look up the expiration month, which is this February 4, 22. Okay. Days till expiration is 32 days till expiration. The strike price we're going to use is we want to sell this thing where we're willing to own it. Now, this is a key philosophy for boomerang traders. Okay. This is absolutely key. Where are you willing to own the stock? Remember, one of the major outcomes we got to plan for is if we sell this naked put, the market might make us buy 100 shares. That's okay. But I want there to be a support level 
below where I have to buy 100 shares. I notice a pivot point right here, about $35 a share. Okay. In fact, I'm going to grab a, a box here and draw that. So I want to be above that right there. Why? Just because I want that support to play into my analysis and my mechanics if I end up having to buy it. So we got to be above 35 in this example. I come over here into the option chain. I see the 35 strike right there. I look at the put side. So anything this strike price or below is above it in the put relationship to my stock price. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, anywhere in here is fine. Now, my rules tell me anything below 25 delta, so I somewhere in this range. I'm going to come down here. Why don't, for simplicity, we choose like this 38 or 9 strike. Let's do this one right here. 38 strike price. I'm going to go to a midpoint offer, 44 cents a contract. Okay, so I'm going to fill that out in the spreadsheet. I'm going to pull this back over here in just a minute. 38 strike. We're at 11 Delta, net credit's 44 bucks. Margin on that is 380 bucks, okay? Now, this is how it looks when you fill the spreadsheet out. Now, this gives me a lot of valuable instant takeaways as a veteran 16-year trader who has I don't even want to count how many hours in the market, okay? Trading, studying, researching, back testing, all of it, you name it, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. Now, if you're brand new and you're in your first hundred hours of education and study, the only thing I'm going to tell you right now is be patient with yourself. You do not need to understand this tonight. You do not need to understand this during this presentation. All you have to do if you're brand new and you're confused is to keep it big picture and at least conceptualize what it might be when you finally do understand it. That's all. That's all I care about right now because I know it takes time for you to truly understand. It takes practice. It, it takes what I call butt in seat time. You actually have to do this stuff. You can't just be shown one example and then go out and execute it. So my veterans, you'll know how to read this data. A couple of things I want to highlight, okay? ATR buffer is real nice, 3.7. ROI percentage, 11.6% on a naked put at 11 delta is a very attractive ROI. It hits my ROID targets and my numbers. You know, for a naked put that many days out, I want to make sure I'm above 50% ROID. That's return on investment divided by delta. Proprietary concept right there, guys. 99% ROID. That's a fantastic ROID. Devon, as a naked put, is a qualified example for a boomerang. Now, I wanted, do you guys want another one? I was thinking about doing two. Okay. I was thinking about doing two. Yeah, let's do two. All right. Like old Ernie Banks used to say, let's play two, right? Uh, the next one I actually wanted to go, we're going to juice this one up just a little bit. We're going to juice it up just a little bit. So instead of Devon, now I'm going to show you Lucid. Okay. Lucid group here. And Stephen says, is the Tackle Theta spreadsheet linked to your thinker swim somehow? Stephen, we don't have an API linking the two together. I've got a lot of different engineers and analyticals who've given me that suggestion, advice, and help. And if you're that type who can help me with that kind of stuff, I welcome it 100%. I'm just a dude out here in my house in Utah. So anything, any advice, any tips on how to link those things together would be wonderful. That's not for tonight, though. But great question. Scott, what does ATR mean? ATR stands for Average True Range. And actually, Scott, what that is, it's a measure of how fast the candlesticks are moving on average on whatever unit you're measuring. So you'll notice like on the daily chart, the ATR is right down here. I've got a tool right here. I've also, if I go to the chart here, I built the ATR on the top left through a little uh, indicator tool we've actually taught before in the past. So ATR stands for average true range. Great questions there, guys. All right. And we will do a lot of some Q&A at the end, by the way. So appreciate them throughout. But if I do miss one, just know I'm not watching the chat the whole time. All right. Lucid here. This is what we call a dirty, sexy money stock. 
Now, anybody who knows what we refer to when we say DSM, it, it, it's a list we build called the dirty, sexy money stocks. They're high implied volatility. Lucid, as a matter of fact, has a 93% implied volatility. And that's actually down from 150% implied volatility just a month ago. This stock can fly. The company was like 20 bucks a share just three months ago. It went to $55 a share. This one moves, okay? Now, they're sexy. They can make you a lot of money, but they're also dirty too because they can be hard to manage. That's why we call them dirty, sexy money stocks. Now, if we go to the trade tab on Lucid or the analyze tab, you'll see option chains on both. I then I'm going to do the same thing, 32-day option, fitting within my rules, and I've got to find a strike that I'm willing to sell. Now, something where support can hold for me, okay, look at this one right here, $35, $37 support right in there. So I'm probably going to go above support. The other support location that could come into play would be this like 27 old resistance zone. It just depends on my delta rules, all right? As I go to the analyze tab, after I've you know, looked at the deltas, looked at everything that's going on, the lower the delta, the safer for me personally, I want low delta naked puts, okay? Write that in the chat. I want low delta naked puts because when you do a low delta one, you're more likely to have the best outcome happen where you just get to keep the money and do nothing else. So low delta is good here. So I'm going to come down here and we're going to take a look, one more look at that chart. If I go all the way to 30, that lets the 200 moving average come into play if we get there. If I come up here to like 37, man, that's really super aggressive against the ATR. Credit, cushion, and cash flow. I want that cushion built in. So we're going to come in and we're going to actually sell probably somewhere around that 30 strike. Okay. In fact, if I'm looking here, 30 looks good to me for our example purposes. You know, other traders might sit and quibble about it. That's okay. I'm, I, I'd be willing to have a longer conversation with a veteran trader about it, by the way. But just for our example purposes tonight, I think I'm good with 30. So I'm going to go with the 30 strike, which is above the 200 period moving average. It's above the old resistance points. It could play as support if we get down there. I pick up a 61 cent credit against just a 10 delta. That's going to be a nice juicy return. Now, I, uh, I'm going to punch these numbers in my spreadsheet, bring it over here and give you guys some context here in just a sec. So 40.93, the ATR is 2.79. 32 days, we're doing 30 strike. What delta? 10 delta there. Okay, good. Oh man, 10 Delta, sell it. And let's do it on the trade tab. Sell it, midpoint price it, look at the credit. There's my margin. So we're talking 61 credit against 300 bucks in margin. Now look at this one, guys. <clears throat> okay. Credit cushion cash flow, Matt, you bet. Do you apply a stop loss at the most recent support pivot? Ziad, great question. That one's for the Traders Lounge. Go sign up for a pro membership, get a 15-day trial, go and talk to the coaches so you can actually have a conversation any morning, 11 a.m. or any evening in, our, in one of our webinars, okay? And I'm not punting on it, except I kind of am, because that's a long conversation. And really, Ziad, we don't want to micromanage the trade. If you truly are embracing boomerang philosophy, you're not supposed to manage this naked put. You're only supposed to sell it if you're willing to buy this stock. The stop loss on an option implies that you weren't willing to buy it. Think about that. Because if you put a stop loss on your naked put, you're saying, man, if I start losing too much money, I want you to buy it back for me. No, no, then you didn't embrace the boomerang philosophy. You should only do this on companies you're willing to take that ownership of. That simplifies your life, by the way, Ziad. That simplifies your life. Because now 
you just let it go to 32 days. And if they make you buy the 100 shares, then you take the 100 shares, then you go start writing cover calls on it. Hopefully that gives you some answer to your question. But no, we don't apply a stop loss when we're doing boomerangs. When we're doing other stuff, 100% always stop losses. But that's not what this philosophy is tonight. Now, here we are looking at Lucid and Devon Energy. Now, let's look at them side by side. Two different companies, both around 40 bucks a share, 45 and 41. ATR is a little higher on Lucid because it moves a little bit faster. 32 days till expiration, different strike prices, but about the same delta. What's interesting about that is that even though they're the same delta, they end up generating vastly different ROIs. In fact, look at this one. Devon gives you a potential 11% ROI in 32 days. And Lucid gives you a potential 20% ROI in 32 days. The reason you're paid more for Lucid is that it's a riskier stock. Let me make sure one very important concept is 100% clear. You make more money when you take more risk. Okay. Type that in the chat, by the way. I make more money when I take more risk. See, by using Lucid, they pay you a higher ROI, but there is a higher risk involved too. The stock moves faster. It might get put to you quicker. It might crash through support and just drop like a rock. Nothing is free in markets. It's just understood. And good veteran traders know how to understand the risk and still play off of it and get those cash flow numbers to come in. Two good examples for naked puts, two good examples of what we're willing to do in the boomerang strategy. Scott, Delta, it's, in my opinion, I mean, it's one of the most important option Greeks. Scott asked the question, what is the significance of Delta? It's one of the key option Greeks. It helps you understand the probability of the option expiring in the money, which then can be interpreted as to what your probability of risk is and assignment. It also tells you where to sell your options and it helps you measure how much cushion you have. So the significance of Delta is it, it tells you where to trade, how to trade, and gives you context around the trade when properly understood. That's a great question for like the mastermind group, Scott. I know you're a pro member. Just yeah, maybe shoot me a message on that. I'd love to talk to you in Discord more about that, uh, maybe after the show as well, okay? Uh, mo money, mo risk. There's a flip side to that one as well. I agree with that. I make uh, more money when I take more risk. You can lose more money when you take more risk as well. That I was, and Matt, I'm glad you said that because I was hoping that was the message coming across. Not just making more money, there's more money involved when there's more risk involved. And that's where it's very important to understand your strategy. 100%. Good point, Matt. Good point, Matt. Glad you clarified that. All right. Back into the PowerPoint now. This, those are naked puts. That's how we do naked puts. And the only reason why you'd be willing to do Devon or willing to do Lucid is what? Well, it's if you're willing to actually own the stock. And guess what can happen? Guys, if, and I'm, let me bring the chart back up for a minute. If you sell a Lucid 30 strike put, you absolutely could be the proud owner of 100 shares of Lucid Group at $30 a share. Now, today it's $41 a share. But the only reason why you would buy it is if it went all the way down here below 30. And if you do the naked put on Devon at 37, Guess what? If it goes all the way down here below 37, you're the proud owner of 100 shares of Devon Energy. If you have not already mapped that out in your head that you're willing to do that, then you got to pick another stock. And that's why we're just using these as examples. They're good, they're good companies for the examples though. After you own the 100 shares, what do you do? Well, then you turn to covered calls on the same tactic. See, this is the beauty of Boomerang and why it all kind of flows together as one continuous cash flow system. After naked put assignments happen, you then take the 100 shares, sell a cover call. Cover call is a cash flow strategy that includes buying the equity in increments of those 100 shares, then selling calls against the underlying position for one contract for every 100 shares owned. Strategy possible outcomes. If you sell those 100 shares, that stock could be exercised from you at expiration. 
which means you're giving the stock back to the market and now you own nothing. That's okay. That's when we go back to selling naked puts to begin with. And I'll bring that mind back up back in just a minute. The other thing that can happen is you can cash flow with a high pop strategy when you do that. See, the thing about Lucid and Devon is that when you own, when you do naked puts on Lucid and Devon, we want those just to expire worth us to keep the money. But if we have to buy those shares, they're good covered call stocks. We already know they have liquid option chains. We already know that we can get good returns on them. You're not going to make good returns on the naked puts if there's not also built in natural good returns on the covered call side of the equation as well. So then we can cash flow with good pop stocks. One of the keys to this whole system is picking companies that are great companies to do this on, which is where those tackle 25 lists come in. Someone is the right to buy the call and someone is the call seller. Remember, in the boomerang system, you are the seller of options in both techniques. You sell the put option. Then if you get assigned, you sell the call option. Okay. I'm just going to keep repeating myself. If you sell the put option, then you get assigned, then you start selling the call options. And the reason we sell options is that there are more green arrows. There's more good outcomes with higher probability of profit on the sell side of the options market equation. See, we don't want to be the suckers to Wall Street. We don't want to just buy options all the time and watch time decay hurt us. We don't want the cup of coffee to go cold, right? We want to benefit from time passing. We want to benefit from the sell of options, the generation of credits, and the reception of those credits into our account. So as the call seller, you now have the obligation to sell that stock back. See, when you sell a call, you don't get paid for nothing. You sold the call, you got paid, and you took on the obligation to deliver your company back to the market at a predetermined price on or before a predetermined date. Okay. When you sell calls for premium, you get paid to make a promise to sell your equity back to the market. You sell that call, you receive your premium, you log it in your journal, and you keep moving on. Guys, you could do boomerangs on the same company all year long. You might sell a naked put in January and sell a naked put in February, and then eventually you get assigned in March. Then you sell a cover call in April, and you sell a cover call in May, and you sell a call in June, and then they take your call in July or whatever it is, right? I'm just going through a hypothetical. Then you're back into cash, and then you start selling naked put, naked put, naked put. Eventually, you get assigned. Most of the time, you're just going to collect your cash flow. It's the times you don't that you got to understand the most, though, because that's when your obligations kick in to the market. Okay? Cover call has the same risk profile as naked put. You have higher risk than you do potential reward. If you have a cover call and the stock goes down, you can lose more money than you could have made on the call. So you got to pick good stocks. One of the keys to trading is picking good, good, good stocks, right? You got to pick good stocks. That's why I love working from our watch list. I know if a stock is on the tackle 25, those lists have been beating the market for years. And I know they're good companies because I know the research that goes into it. So the covered call are on companies that we got assigned when we did naked puts. We then start selling those calls, okay? And if the market takes your stock, you then just start selling naked puts back again to the markets. Now, let me show you how we do cover calls if we had gotten assigned on these same two companies. See, a naked put, you sell below your company. So this example here on Devon down here is where we would have done a naked put. And actually, let me dump out of that one, remove that drawing. If we sell a covered call, it's because we already own the stock, okay? So this is if, as if in a hypothetical, we had been assigned Devon or we own Devon, now we want to sell covered calls on it. Covered calls, we want to do up above the company. Now, if you go into the Tackle Theta spreadsheet and you click on covered calls, what you're going to notice is the same basic kind of table. Down below, you'll see the rules. It gives you the delta rule, the theta rule, the vega rule. I am a rule-based trader. 
Write that in the chat because you need to be one as well. Write down, I am a rule-based trader. Because if you don't trade with rules, you are not going to succeed of over a long enough time frame. Period. End of sentence. I've been around this business way too long, way too many thousand hours, and way too many traders that I've known, met, taught, trained, and saw succeed and fail. Okay. You must be a rule based trader. So type in, I am a rule based trader. So we're going to come down here. We're going to review our rules for cover calls. We're then going to punch in both Devin and Lucid from our examples. And we're going to build out some of the same stuff. So let me uh, check here. So on Devin, the price is 45.57 a share. We're going to do the February 32 day option. And we're going to look at the 32 day option. I'm going to sell this 38 delta right there. Okay. Midpoint price. We're going to sell the, and if you notice, Strike price right here is the 48 strike. Okay, we're going to sell the 48 strike at a 38 delta for credit of buck 51. All right. Very good. Hold on one second. I'll show you both of these. We'll build them both at the same time, then I'll show them to you. Okay. Now, if I do lucid on a cover call, punch up lucid. I'm going to go down to my rule 30, 40 delta, 30 days out. Sell that at the 228 midpoint offer. You always split the min, do a midpoint offer. Okay, that one's good right there for our rule. Lucid has a $40.93 price tag for the February option, 32 days out. Uh, we're doing the 45 strike at a, what was that exact delta I had there? 45 strike, 0.39. Credit is 2.28. And then what I do when I'm building these is I then review my ROI numbers to make sure they fit my rules. I got to tell you guys, a covered call that gives you 3% on Devon, that's a dang good covered call on, you know, a moderate risk trade, you know, in my opinion. Lucid's a high risk trade. It's giving you the most return too. You get 5.2% on your covered call. Now, we don't even want to have to do cover calls. Don't forget this part of it. First step, sell a naked put. Second step, then sell cover calls. Okay. Boomerang trade is first step, sell a naked put. Hopefully, we just get to keep this money right up front. The $44 credit or the $61 credit, we get to lock that into our account. We get to wait the 32 days and then just cash flow it again next month. But if we have to buy it, we then convert it to covered calls. We boomerang the trade where we're giving up the rights now to the company we own through two powerful cash flow strategies. That's the essence of what we're doing here, guys. Now, I'm going to bring this back and we're going to bring the PPT back up. Here's my mind map. I'm going to slow my voice down a little bit, catch my breath a little bit, and watch the chat as I go through this mind map as well. First of all, have you guys learned something tonight? Have you gotten value out of the presentation? Are you learning? You can be honest with me, by the way. If I'm going too fast, too slow, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust. You know, I'm here just to help. I'm here to share some knowledge. That's why I'm here. Uh, hopefully, we've done that. We've accomplished that, right? And uh, Horatio Arroyo, why trade with 30 days versus a week? Uh, the, the short answer, Horatio, is because back tested and live tested and trading experience lets me know that optimizes the amount of cushion and management and ROI in a balanced approach. Traders who do one day, three days, one week, they are much more aggressive and they're much more gamma sensitive. Now, there's a much longer answer as well, by the way, but that's the short answer. And if it was my kid, Horatio, I'd say just because I said so, but I didn't, I'm not going there tonight. All right. But I'll give you the short answer, long answer, maybe another time. Okay. Hopefully that, that, that answers that a little bit. All right. 
it's actually, Jamie, this is the wheel. We just call it the boomerang. So if you've ever heard about the wheel, that's what boomerang is to us at tackle trading. We like boomerang more. Same basic technique. It's where you take a naked put, then you convert it to a cover call if you got to buy the stock. Absolutely. Some people call it the wheel. We call it the boomerang. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. And I'm watching the chat for questions. And we got a little bit of a delay here as well. And I'm losing my voice even with that coffee. Um, mind map. Your first transaction is a sold put. Once you sell a put, the best case scenario is just to have it expire worthless. Using our examples of Lucid and Devon, we just want those sold puts okay, to expire worthless, to keep the money and to do it again, 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 and keep making money every month. But with anything in probability, even if there's only a 10% chance that we're going to get assigned or a 20% chance or whatever the number is in the example we're using, eventually you're going to have to buy the stock. And when you end up having to buy the stock, Hopefully you picked a good stock like the ones on the tackle 25. You take that assignment, you then sell a call option against it. After you sell a call option against it, you have two potential outcomes. You sold the call. It can be exercised, which means now you own nothing. And then you go back to selling puts. And instead of the exercise, that could also expire worthless. And then if that happens, you just keep selling call options. Now, that's all the boomerang really is. But anybody worth their salt in the market who's been out there and actually been in markets for more than five minutes knows the complexity is way more than that in anything in life. See, in a presentation like this, what my goal is, is to hit the high notes so that you can see the potential and the power of it, but also to give you some reality checks so that you don't get brave enough to go out and try it on your own without training, education, and experience. If you're a brand new trader and you've never traded options before, welcome to Tackle Trading. We welcome you into our community. You know, we truly do. Whether you become a paid pro member or not, welcome to Tackle Trading. In fact, my Team Tackle members just say welcome to hashtag Team Tackle because that's what we are. We're a community. We're a team. And if you're a brand new trader and you want to do this kind of stuff and you want to actually do it right to where you're not just the buyer of options and a consumer and the so-called, what Wall Street calls everybody in the world, the retail crowd, get some danged education. Learn how to do this correctly. Practice it until your thumbs hurt. <laughs> you know, Practice it until your fingers are sore because you've been typing on that computer for too long. Write like you're running out of time, right? I just watched Hamilton over the weekend. I was inspired by that. Some of the music in that was incredible. I took uh, my wife, uh, my mother bought us uh, tickets for it. Right like you're running out of time. You know, get in there and do it. I'll never, I'll never forget um, one of my students. And if you're Team Tackle, you'll know this name. Her name is Beth Salamanca. And Beth, I met when she was at retirement age, just barely cracking retirement, just young and vibrant. And she's got so many, so many, so many decades in front of her to go out and make money, build wealth, influence people, be a wonderful person as she is. And Beth, if you're out there and you watch this recording, man, happy new year. I hope things are going great. I haven't talked to you in a couple months. Um, Beth Salamanca, I'll never forget it. I was teaching a presentation in a ballroom back in 2000 and. God, now I'm going to think 17, I think 17 in Philadelphia in this little dingy hotel, by the way, where literally the, the old uh, carpet and the, <laughs> the wallpaper would have scared most people out of there. It didn't scare me or my students at all. We had a wonderful three-day event and one of my students was Beth Salamanca. See, I've had the good opportunity to travel the entire world teaching people how to trade the markets and breaking these concepts down so that they're simplified in a way to truly understand them and embrace the power of the options market. 
And I love those green arrows because green arrows are good. And we want more green arrows making us money, right? We want more things that make it easy for us to do it. And I'll never forget Beth walking up to me after a couple of days of me teaching her. And she's like, you know, brand new. And I learned this later, actually. Beth is one of the most successful traders that I've ever trained. She's a multimillionaire. She's made incredible amounts of money from the options market. And you know, the number one and number two strategy she uses, selling naked puts and selling covered calls. And I also remember when Beth, who was a 25-year veteran of our you know, military, different branches, a couple of different branches, actually, she changed careers in the middle. Uh, she did public service her entire life. She's an incredible human. She la- later shared with me that math was not her favorite thing in the world, and she was intimidated to heck. See, I've also learned as an educator, a lot of beginners, they nod their head as if they're getting it, and I know they don't actually get it yet. It takes time. And Beth Salamanca only sells naked puts and cover calls as some of her core strategies. I know she does a lot more now because she's been doing it six years, four or five years now. But after a couple of years, this is all she really did. One of the reasons it was all she really did is that as her mentor, I told her and I gave her the direction and more importantly, she took it. Because I've given a lot of advice in my life, guys. It's not the advice that matters whether or not you take it and run with it. Okay. And I'll give you the same advice. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. One thing I love about the boomerang is it centers around two techniques. And if you can spend enough time, but in seat time, you got to actually be at your computer and practice it, experience the market and learn it. You're not going to get rich tomorrow in the markets, guys. You know, it takes time to learn this stuff, to get this stuff and execute the stuff. But if you put in the time, but in seat time, You can have an entire cash flow philosophy, an entire cash flow system, and a tactic on how you can approach the markets. Before I get nostalgic and start telling stories for an hour, we're going to start wrapping up because I'm losing my voice and my wife is making fried chicken. I can smell it in the other room. Monday, she cooks. I cook Tuesdays, Thursdays. We got a whole system here at the house. (laughs) So I'm excited about that. And plus, I get a chance to go spend some time with my daughters. Uh, My oldest daughter got married last uh, week. And by the way, big shout out to one of my buddies out there in Team Tackle Land who just signed up for coaching last week. The advice you gave me on the wedding speech, Austin was fantastic. I used it and made it go smooth. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Guys here at Tackle Trading, like we started with, we have an entire ecosystem of educational content, ways for you to learn the markets. Podcast on the go, Trading Justice Podcast. Go listen to last week's episode. We release them on Monday, Tuesday, depending on the week. Last week, we released it on Tuesday. It was our predictions for the whole year with Coach Emily and Coach uh, Mark and Coach Matt and myself and Coach Frank and Coach Greg. It was a heck of a lot of fun to put it together, okay? It's a rule-based household smooth, yes. Uh, we're, we're a little bit like that, you bet. Yeah, and thank you, Blake, for the congratulations. I appreciate that. I'm very, very proud of that young lady, and I'm excited to welcome that young man into our family. They got married last week, so absolutely thank you for that, guys. Uh, we do podcasts each and every week. You know, we do the Trading Justice podcast at the first of the week to kind of get you prepared for the week. We do the Huddle podcast at the end of the week so that we can kind of wrap up the news of the week. We want you to subscribe to both. We got reports and shows, some live, some free, some in our pro membership community. It just depends on what level you're participating in. Courses for you to study on your own over at Tackle Trading. In fact, a lot of those courses, like the 101 courses, they're just a part of your pro membership, okay? So if you want to learn more about options, go take the Options 101 course with a 15-day trial. You know, you can learn a lot about the contract basics and strikes and expirations and all the stuff we've been talking about, right? Blogs and tools for traders and social media. Guys, we got a really wonderful company here. We have a wonderful community of coaches and veteran traders and beginner traders alike. Excuse me. Yep. If you're interested in a 15-day trial, bit.ly slash join Tackle Pro. There's also a link to a 15-day trial in every one of our YouTube video descriptions. 
or very simply put, just head over to our website, tackletrading.com. You'll find the trial link right on the front page, okay? If you're looking for more than just a 15-day trial, you actually want to put the pedal to the metal a little bit, maybe accelerate your learning curve. You got to go from the freemium stuff into the pro content. Take those courses, start studying the blogs, review the scouting reports every week. And by golly, go and get the Tackle 25 list, which was published two days ago. And we only put that out once a year, guys. Those lists have been incredible. And if you've been a part of our community for long enough, you know, they've been big performers over the course of the years. You know, there's winners and losers on the list, but I got to tell you the most important part of it, it beats the market. Okay. They're optionable candidates as well. And they are wonderful return candidates, dividend fireworks, poor boy covered calls, dirty, sexy money. But the key to all of it is the tackle 25 list. It's on the website available to all pro members. And then the last part of what we do is actually what we call premium. And there's a lot of components in premium. I love the trading labs. I absolutely love the way you veteran traders out there have engaged with my coaches and really made those labs amazing. You know, I've got professional traders who are our coaches at Tackle Trading who've been in the markets for decades. And, you know, they, they teach these labs like uh, the Dynasty Investor Trading Lab with Coach Emily Mururi or the Cashflow Vikings. Affectionately, school, right? Coach Mark, my brother, teaches that one. And Coach Tyler Craig teaches Team Phoenix. They're all fantastic. If you're a pro member and not tried the labs yet, you should. You'll like them. You'll get a lot of value out of them. But the true crown jewel of all of it is our one-on-one -on -one coaching program, which I am the head coach of. I'm the one who kind of administers it, makes sure that it's what you need. You know, we do an entire evaluation process to make sure you're even qualified for coaching. Uh, we don't let anybody in the door, by the way. You know, just that's the bottom line. That is just a fact. There are times I've had to turn people away from coaching. Either they weren't ready or they couldn't afford it, you know, or whatever it was in between. I will let you know if coaching is for you. I will give it to you straight. The only way I can let you know that is if we have a conversation in one of our consultations. Our premium systems like the Bear Market Survival Guide, the Step Course, the Tackle 25, Cash Flow Condors, they're fantastic. And by the way, right now, they're 50% off. Okay. So you absolutely. And Abs thank you, Naomi. I will absolutely thank you. Thank Matt as well. And I definitely like this content for sure. Uh, all right. Sign up for a consultation. Sign up for the program at Tackle Trading that best fits your, your budget, your goals, your needs. But for crying out loud, if you really want to be a trader, do not try to put the cart before the horse. Don't take all of the garbage that's out there on, you know, in the World Wide Web of all of these snake oil salesmen trying to pitch, you know, get rich quick returns right away. That's not what markets are, guys. Markets are hard. They take a lot of work. They take a lot of time to get good at. And if you decide to go down the path to get good at them, it's a wonderful path. And it can lead to incredible results for your life, for your legacy, for your family. I got introduced to the financial market 16 years ago, and there's this really weird mystique about the financial markets. I got to tell you, uh, there's a lot of people out there that you know just think that only guys on Wall Street can do it. And that's 100% wrong, by the way. Anybody with a computer and a Wi-Fi connection and an account can trade the markets. And there are people out there that think that you've got to be super wealthy to get into the markets. And that's not true at all either. All you got to do is have desire and patience and a dedication to education. You know, even if you're starting like my daughter, you know, starting out newly married, she wanted to start to encounter something. Gosh, you can start depositing 50 bucks or hundred bucks a month from your paycheck and start building your account. Guys, the whole point of investing is the journey that leads to wealth creation over time. You know, there's a phrase I use all the time. And I want you to write it in the chat right now for me, if you will. Get rich slow. Get rich slow. It's what Warren Buffett has taught us. It's what so many great investors have taught us. 
You invest in things that can make you more money. You learn to control the risk through your management, your education, your understanding, and your system. You juice the returns through cover calls and naked puts and the use of the options market, but absolutely get rich slow. You know, I think it's critical mindset around the markets. I see so much garbage out like on Reddit with the, the whole the whole craziness that happened with GameStop. And by the way, I applaud the people who made money on it. I congratulate anybody who's found success. But then what happens is it starts giving people the wrong impression about what investing is, that you can always hit like 100% returns and stuff. That's not what happens. You got to take it the right way and take it one step at a time. There's no question about it. And that next step for us here is to remind you of our promotions that are happening right now until January 10th. In fact, just in the chat, type in until January 10th, tackle trading is on sale. Okay. That's it. Somebody, any one of my team tackle members, if you get that message in the chat, will help me. That's all I'm trying to say. We've got promotions on our pro membership. If you're a current pro, the number one thing I'd recommend, lock in your annual, get a discount. It's $97 a month regular, but you can actually get 23% off if you just lock in the whole year. So lock in your annual, get committed for all of 2022 and make this the best year you've ever had in the financial markets. If you're looking for coaching, sign up for a consultation. Come and join us like many of our Team Tackle members right now. And instead, let me just do this as I wrap up and finish this presentation tonight. I've got all kinds of five-star reviews, Trustpilot, all of that kind of stuff. And Roger, the pro is $97 a month after the trial. Okay, he, that question, sorry, Roger, I think I saw that earlier. It's $97 a month after the free trial. Instead of me pitching old you know, in fact, I don't mind bringing those back up. There we are. You know, and I these people, Angelo, you know, Rita, um, I even think I saw one from Bill Saunders. These are people in our community to this day that I see on a regular basis, if not a daily basis, right? In fact, I bet Bill's out there right now saying, yeah, I remember saying that, <laughs> you know, Tackle Trading is a great community. Instead of me just showing you Trust Pilot reviews, let me ask Team Tackle a favor right now. What would you say about your pro membership and the value of the education you get from tackle trading? Now, guys, this is live on YouTube. I have no idea what the hundred people here might say or what anybody might say after. I don't mind because you want to know what? I know and I have the confidence to know what we provide is incredibly valuable, especially for the cost. The period, end of sentence. If you are interested in financial education, you have found a home. Hopefully, you recognize that and you embrace it and you join us and you absolutely move yourself forward with purpose one step at a time as we help you reach your goals. As I'm watching the chat come in the last minute or so, just kind of talk in general for a second. Bob says, it's extraordinary. Thank you, Bob. Oh, Bob, that ballroom in Phoenix I met you in in 2016. I'll never forget that place. Adib, thank you, my friend. It's definitely worth it. Jessica pays for itself. Sess, invaluable. Matt, the community's off the chart. Smooth, it's priceless. Stephen, best investment I've made in the markets by far. Well, my brother, Stephen, who's the co-founder and the CEO of our company, he always says this, and I love one thing Matt, this one thing Matt always says education before application. Learn this stuff before you just don't go start pushing live money into the market, right? Okay. You literally cannot put a price on it. They're the hardest working trading coaches on, on the planet. We just love it. Honestly, smooth. You should listen to our um, back-end conversations with the coaches. I'd love to let you guys put be a, you know, a fly on the wall one of these days. It's amazing how much these coaches, they just love trading. You know, Smooth, there's a reason why we have who we have. I love reading this, guys. Beyond excellent, excellent and valuable. I love it. I have lost my voice. I smell fried chicken in my kitchen. And I'm going to go spend some time with my daughters before I play. I think we're going to play Mario Party tonight, actually. And I am dang looking forward to that. 
From Coach Tim over here at Tackle Trading, guys, happy new year. Happy new year. I love this time of year. It is a time to reflect. Is it, a time, it is a time to learn from the past, to embrace our mistakes, to think about all the things that have happened that we can, we can grow from, to acknowledge our successes and to really you know, applaud them and, and, and all of that. But most importantly, and one of the absolute things I love most about this, it's a time to move forward. It's a time to move forward. Okay. Happy New Year from Tackle Trading. Hashtag Team Tackle. You guys are amazing. Buzz me an email if you ever need anything. Tim at TackleTrading.com. Until next time, guys, we will see you on the other side. And check out those offers in our store. And uh, we're out. Until next time. Cheers.